Hello and welcome to our first lesson on JavaScript. So in this short lesson, we're going to be looking at the basic software we're going to need to follow along in our course. We're not going to do any coding just yet. We want to make sure that your environment is set up to match what we have here. And so we're going to install two pieces of software to kind of accomplish this. The first one is going to be Node.js, which allows JavaScript to be run outside of a browser. And the second one is Visual Studio Code, which is a text editor. So we're going to install additional pieces of software as we move through the course. But for now, these are the two that we're going to work with. So we're going to begin with installing Node.js. So you want to head to nodejs.org. And I already have this brought up in a browser, so nodejs.org. And then what you'll see here is download for Windows if you're on Windows or download for Mac if you're on a Mac. You want to grab the one that says recommended for most users. So make sure that your version number is this guy or higher. Obviously, if you're working with this in the future, then this number will be higher as they release updates and they make sure that they're stable. So once you've downloaded that and you've gone through the trouble to make sure it's installed on your system, you can check to make sure it's installed by opening up the terminal application on your computer. So Windows and kind of Mac will have different terminals. I'm going to do mine on Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and hit C-O-M-M-A-N-D for command. And the command prompt app is going to kind of pop up when I hit enter. And what you want to do here is just check to see if Node is installed. So you're going to type in Node and then space. You're going to put a dash and then V. Okay, so this is basically asking the computer what version of Node is installed and see it comes up with a number there. If you didn't install it correctly, you will get an error message. Okay, but if you get this popping up, again, your version might be different, but if you get something that pops up with the version, then you know you've installed Node correctly on your computer. So once that's done, we can close this. We don't need it anymore. And then we can close this out. You want to head to code.visualstudio.com and download the code editor Visual Studio Code. So this is a text editor. It's something that's going to allow us to kind of program in a more efficient manner. And we'll see that as we move throughout the course. I know most of you have already taken HTML and CSS, so you're familiar with this. But this is the one I'm going to use. Again, if you want to use brackets, that's fine as well. So once you have that, let me close this window. You're going to open it up. Make yourself a folder either on the desktop or in your documents, wherever you want to put it. And just make it JavaScript course or whatever you want to do. That's where you're going to store all your stuff for this course. So you want to go over here to file and where it says open folder, you're going to go ahead and hit that up and say you want to open that folder and that's going to put you in that folder. Then you can go to terminal and click new terminal. Okay, so I'm going to work with the terminal that's built into Visual Studio Code. I don't particularly like the kind of command prompt or the terminal that's built into Windows. You can use git bash if you want also, but that's something we'll get to kind of later in the course. This one's plugged right into our code editor, and so it's perfect. It's a solution for people to use on Windows or Mac and get the same thing. So again, you can type in node space and then your hyphen or your dash V, and it's going to give you your version number just like we saw with our command prompt, and it shows me that node is installed successfully. All right, that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next lesson where we'll actually start doing some coding.